Everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio and to my weekly live stream. Kathy, that's me, makes a card. This is my weekly live stream that I do every Wednesday at noon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Most of my videos are a little more structured and formed, but not the live streams. Not the live streams. I'm sorry people. They're, they're not structured. I mean, they're somewhat structured. I do have a plan. I have a plan. So welcome everyone. Um, great to see you here. Now there is a poll in the chat. If you're watching on the TV, I don't think you can see it, but I figure a lot of my viewers do remember rotary phones. I mean, I am, I am 58 years old. I'm not one of those gals who's afraid to tell her real age. You know what I mean? And I can kick, but I'm going to reach over here and end the poll. Let's go. End the poll and we'll see what it said because it said 92 percent of people who answered so far remember what a rotary phone is and um no one is from the wireless generation so i think that's pretty cool um but you know we all go back so again today's live good to have you here i took the weekend off my best friend surprised me with a very last minute can i come spend the weekend with you i said yes we did what best friends do ate a lot of crap and went shopping. That's what you do. That's what you do. Um, and so it was really good to not really do anything. So I'm back in the groove today. Well, it was, I guess I was in the groove yesterday. And again, it's alive. There's chat. If you don't like that sort of thing, click away. Save yourself the pain. And with that, let's go to the table. All right. So speaking of rotary phones, it's time to change the glasses. I am making a phone with the new Concord and Ninth Just Calling dies. Now, I don't know if you have seen this yet or you know poked around or whatever, but I, I saw Laura Basson's video. I saw Christina Werner made a great video and I just got these in the mail two days ago. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm using this to make a rotary die and I'm going to make an interactive card. However, um, Oh my gosh, I just saw just saw Rosie's comment. Yeah, this isn't this isn't that kind of video. I mean, here's the thing. I I don't like to give a lot of attention to negative Nellies, but someone wrote the video wrote in the comment on last week's live stream, hate the intro, will not watch. It's like that I great. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? I'm here, you're here, and thank you, Samine, <laughs> for more junk food. Okay. So I want to get started for today, but here's what I did to save some time. Can you say with me, en français, voilà le mise en place. I had to do some die cutting in advance because 
I feel like something like this, and I've made a few other cards, which I will share with you at the end of my live stream. And I'm also gonna share some of the things that I learned that I screwed up, okay? So, yeah, that, yeah, I make mistakes, and uh, I had to I had to work this one out a bit before before I brought it to you. So, we're gonna start with some of the stuff that's already been cut. However, gotta show you the coolest part, and that is this die right here. So there's a die. And now you can do this, you can do this with uh, just a simple folded card, but I am going to do a base that's popped up, okay? And so to start out, let's move this over here. Let's get our stamps out of the way. Let's get our, oh, I don't have space. Come here now. Let's get our Misty and let's bring this in so I can explain the mechanism. Also, welcome everyone. It is great to have you here and see so many familiar names and new names too popping up. Kind of love that. So what we're going to do is we are going to position this die. This panel right here is just a four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. It's, uh, I'm going to, I guess I'll angle it a little bit. And one other note, those of you who have or are thinking about getting the M-Press machine, which I've been using now for about six months and I love it. The manual says don't cut into the mat. I do. Anna Griffin does. <laughs> Jennifer McGuire does. You know what? You can cut into both. So also, I don't know if my friend Jennifer's out there today just quietly watching, but she wasn't feeling well, and I hope she's feeling better. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to line this little guy up right. Oh, it's so magnetized. It's hard to do. Right here on the bottom. And got to get it perfect there. There we go. Come on now. Oh, so magnetic. Go there. You're lining it up here because you're going to cut this so that this is perfectly set up. And this is the only, well, this is one of the few things we're going to die cut today. But let's go to the die cut cam. And there she is. Isn't she lovely? Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so bringing this over, and this is the Empress that I have, and it's like the main one. It's not the mini, it's not the, you know, I don't know if there's a bigger one. I keep mine on this rotating Lazy Susan, which Anna Griffin sells. This is, uh, I think, just an exclusive design that she has. I have them both linked in the description, but we're gonna run this through. Oh, gotta turn it on, okay. And I love that it has a little clearance so that it will actually go over things um, in my limited space. All right, coming in and let's go back to the table cam. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, some of you, you know, I've been using this thing. It just works so great. It's a, it's a nail polish, cat's eye manicure to use with um, magnetic polish. I got it on Amazon. I've been using it to pick up dyes because I actually hate, um, oh, I did it upside down. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Oh my gosh. Hold, hold tight. Hold tight. We need another panel. Do we have another panel? <gasps> we do. All right. I just want you to know, okay, we've taken enough photos with the lens cap on. Let's try this again. Um, I had it put down wrong. You gotta make it so that it actually cuts. Well, maybe we've gotten our, <laughs> were some of you telling me that in the, um, in the comments? There we go. It says right here, place card edge here. Well, I guess I'll save that. That's a nice emboss though. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's try that again. Gosh. We're lined up. We look good. Oh, Lord help us. Help us craft gods. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. I tell you, it's always something. All right, now, I was like, now let's try this again. Nail polish wand. Oh, that's how it's supposed to look. So what this has given us is our little opening for our interactive pieces of the project. Now, I am going to trim this down a little bit extra though, because I want to pop my panel up and I want it to have, you know, more of a, well, a very subtle, uh, what do you call it, margin. Okay, so we're going to put this over here, just so I don't lose that. 
and I'm going to take the largest of my Waffle Flower A2 layers dies. I, I want to make sure I have enough room to build and pop things up, and th this is the one that is four, four inches by five and a quarter. So we're gonna trim the panel down. And what I'm going to do now is just bring this as, as low to this base as I can get it because I could trim this by hand, but I don't want to. You know, if I if I do that, then it's gonna be unequal. All right, pop this on and we'll cut. Also wanna say hello to Emma and Beth, my moderators who are here today in the chat. And I appreciate those lovely women for being here because they can sometimes answer questions for you that I miss here during my live. All right, and come back down. Okay, and good to see your names and, and uh, yeah, people, <laughs> Terry Cowens, I don't, I missed, I lost my, you're doing it wrong. Um, I lost the sound piece, so let's go back to the table. Okay. <laughs> oh, I tell ya, I tell ya, there's a lot, there's a lot happening. So this is my panel where the magic will be built. That's step one. Well, that's step one of a zillion. Um, so let's put that aside. And now let's start thinking about what we're doing next. Now, I think what I would like to do is I'm gonna do some gluing first. So I'm gonna zoom in here. And this is definitely a project. And now that I've made a couple different cards, um, you definitely, if you have everything sort of done first, you you can you can get things going better i think so cutting it all out at once helps you plan also if you and this is my connect glue from gina k i actually let's see here let's pick you up again jewels not tools all right i'm just gonna start gluing things together and now what happens is um magic magic will ensue and i also wanted to remind you all and i always like to remind you you know, I don't have someone in the studio to call out the questions as they pop up, which is why Beth and Emma helped me out a lot. But you can always email me after the live stream and say, hey, Kathy, I saw something and uh, I want to know. I want to know more. I, I always answer the Kathy at KathyZilski.com emails because that is, that's one of my few emails that doesn't seem to have junk and spam. Oh, hey, I just saw my friend Mindy popping in here. All right, so we're gonna be adding our little pieces here, and I decided to go with pink. Now, the pinks that I'm using today are all from Concord and Ninth. So I have Carnation cardstock, Sweet Pea cardstock, and the dark pink, which I'm gonna add to the little feet here, this is dragon fruit. So I'm not using any of the new, new colors, right? Let's get you on there and just set that there. I'm just using some old classics, but I also like doing something like this in um, kind of a monochromatic because I, I you know, I don't, I don't know all the colors in the world. Speaking of colors in the world, Christina Warner, the video that she did with this, um, I freaking love it. It's a, uh, she is doing a month long series on color. Every day has been just fantastic and a revelation. And I will definitely link after the live stream to Christina's video because I've been watching her color, uh, her color series. And I'm so inspired that I went ahead and ordered the color cube. I didn't think I would ever want to have that. And after seeing her use it, hold on, I'm trying to get this lined up better. Uh, I decided to place an order for the color cube. And if you don't know what it is, I'll pop a link in too for that. But um, I, I struggle with choosing uh, color palettes myself, which is why so often I keep everything very monochromatic, right? Or, or I'll be like, well, I'm just gonna do something analogous in rainbow order. And But I think that thing is pretty cool what she's got and we'll see, I'll be playing with that in the future. All right, I'm gonna use my glass brick here just to keep a lot of pressure on. And let's add the little, these guys. So lots of gluing, gluing is my life, but that's okay because I'm an over-adhesor. 
and I love I love adhesion adhesion of things okay I'm gonna go like this and pop you down. I also, the gray card stock that I'm using here is Pebble. And then I also have all the ink colors because we are gonna stamp our little interactive piece and those are gonna pick up all the colors that we're, that we're using. Oh, I just saw Kelly Dubeck say I would love the color cube. And I'm, I mean, I'm excited to do it. You know, it's uh, seeing Christina use it made me think, you know what? That's a really good idea because of the fact that sometimes we get stuck in ruts with color and it is not a bad idea, right, to just sort of, you know, broaden the horizons. Now, Laura Basson, my sweet friend, she did a video on the Concord and Ninth channel. And again, I'll link that one for you as well. And Laura had the good idea to build up dimension on the dial because the dial is the part that you're actually going to move. And so in order to do this, mm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to have something a little substantial. So we're going to glue these together as well. Uh, hey, Amy, I don't want you to have a headache and watch today. I just saw my friend Amy pop in. And uh, you, know, you know what? People are, people are getting sick this spring. And, you know, I, I try to stay... I try just to avoid people at all costs, <laughs> even the ones that I live with. Um, speaking of the people I live with, uh, Dan is going to be on spring break this coming week, and I sure hope I sure hope that he finishes the bathroom. Um, for those of you who've followed along, we uh, we started remodeling our bathroom in June. That's okay though. I am a patient woman. Therapy has really helped me to understand that, you know what, things happen, they don't get done, no big whoop, no big deal, Cecil. That's a saying we have in our house, and uh, we say it a lot, and it goes back to when my son played Little, Little League Baseball, and there was a dad whose kid was striking out all the time, and every time Cecil was up to bat and didn't, didn't make it, his dad would just say, no big deal no big deal and he had such a low booming voice that we adopted that saying in our house no big deal Cecil so hopefully all he has to do is get that toilet taken out and finish the tile job <laughs> another story unrelated see this is where the chat comes in uh, the hot water in our shower all of a sudden has decided to go lukewarm no matter what we do and if we have to tear out the wall that was just done with tile, let's just say, if we have to do it, you know what they say, no big deal, Cecil. Okay, so we're putting this together and you know, just take your time, glue it up. And actually, you know, something I like to do, if your glue is seeping and it bothers you, I'll take my little glue pin or whatever I have, but if I do the glue pin, it doesn't really matter because it's going back in the bottle. Yeah, just kind of just kind of swoop around right we don't we don't want oozing on this project and you'll see why when we get to the uh, when we get to the part where yeah yeah uh, Michelle says I love your personality you're so fun thank you Michelle it's not for everyone but you know what for those of you who are here you you know you know I just yeah sometimes and I, again I have decided I have decided that you know if there's comments that are kind of silly and by silly, I mean really not well thought out and kind of dumb and a little entitled and wildly crazy. I'm just going to hide those people from my channel. And what's fun about that is then you can just keep leaving. They can keep leaving any comments they want. Uh, you won't see them and I won't see them. <laughs> and then what we have from that, my friends, it's called peace of mind. Peace of mind. And I think we all, I think we all could use a little peace of mind. Okay. So here we have four thick layers. Now, of course, this is really easy to line up because of the circles and isn't that cute? It's tiny. Okay, and I'm gonna come in here again with the pin, kind of just go around, around here, like that. And again, taking advantage of my glass brick. Now, I will tell you something about this glass brick. Um, you need to, if you get into these glass bricks, and I, I do love them, I think this is the Share Handmade Kindness one. I always link this, there we go. Press that down, are we lined up? Yeah, we look pretty good. They get gluey. So I try to make the habit of 
uh, what's the word? You know what? I'm actually going to glue these while I'm while I'm thinking about it. So let me explain this really quick though. So this is the spinner piece, and as you can see, if I tilt it towards me, see the little outlines. The outlines fit perfectly with this part of the opening, the little talk bubble. Okay, and this says spinner, spinner, and this is glue one. But I'm not going to glue on this yet, but I am going to glue the other pieces because one thing I have learned, and I'll just, I'll just work my way backwards, I'll go two. This is the thing that takes a long time to dry. Well, it, yeah. Uh, Laurel Baker asks, these are glass? That is made out of glass. This is why I love it so much. It's heavy as can be. And I have kind of gone to mostly using this guy right here. So that's two. Let's take three. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly, you know, the words don't have to be lined up. But we're gluing these together. And I just want to make sure they're totally lined up because I want to give this some time to dry because the drying is key. And also here, I don't want my glue to ooze out all over the place because it's just going to make this piece sticky. You don't want it to be sticky, okay? You want it to be, you know, see that? Just a little glue there in the center. And the glue will hold it. But try, if, if you are working with this in the future and you say, yeah, I got I to gotta make the rotary phones, you want to try to keep that glue from seeping out on the sides. So make sure we're all lined up, squeeze it, and I'm going to say this guy too under the block, okay? Whew, that was fun. Oh, I see that Athena is here for her first live. Hey, Athena, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining today. Uh, hopefully this will be fun, but it's definitely, oh, I just bent, I just bent my pen. You know what? Um, I got to show you this because Gloria Wolf, who I don't know if Gloria's here today. She taught me that if you're, if you accidentally somehow bend your pen, if you just go over it like this, it really does straighten out really easily. So there you go. All right. Popping you in like that. It's a little sticky inside. Okay. Uh, hey, Megan, good to see my, my colleague and friend Megan here. Now, now it's time to bring out some colors of ink. All right, I'm actually gonna slide this back, slide this back, and just let that little, that little five guy, the stack right there. Well, actually, you know what? I feel like there's not quite the same, but I think I'm confused because my hair is in my face. But you know what? We're gonna live. I just, I just wanted to be, uh, you know, um, I just saw uh, Laura post something. Make sure Kathy sees this. Um, is it is? I'll just keep going and, and I'll glance. Yes, powder. I saw someone ask, can you powder the side of the piece? Debbie, brilliant. Yes, I actually used um, I used my powder tool on one of them, and um, I will put powder on after it's completely dry because it works great. It works great. Okay, so let's do some stamping, shall we? Where did I put my, my Misty tool? Where are you, little friend? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna zoom out just a little. Let me come out here. And I am going to move that paper. Get I'm using my Gina K cube today too because I wanna have a mix of color and uh, black and black and white, et cetera, and so on. The comment above about my water. Um, I'm <laughs> trying to see about my water. Well, well, I can't see it right now, but I'll, I'll check, I'll check back. Okay. Sorry, water. Um, when is the next knock it off? Darlene Renshaw wants to know. Uh, that is in the works. It's in the works with someone that you know. We're working on it. It takes, it takes time to coordinate those. I, it, I, I wanted it to be, um, coming along faster, but it's, it takes me a little bit of time. So, all right, I am gonna take, by the way, I have a grip mat in my Misty, okay? Oh, razor blade to get the glue off. That will work too. Yeah, you can, you know what else I have? Um, I'm gonna press this down really hard. Uh, I have uh, this stuff that's really not good for the environment or your lungs, but it's undue. 
I put a mask on and I use undo and it actually works really, really well. Um, oh, what's the cork piece to the left? Is that what it, the question is? Um, this is from my, what is it called? Ikea Kvissel, K-V-I-S-S-L-E. It's a tray, okay? And it goes into, it's a letter, it's a letter organizer. And I use it when I am planning projects or especially if I am uh, taking things down to photograph them in the old craft slash dining room because that's where the light is good and that's where I do all my photography. So yeah, undo or the goof, the goof off. I, I use them all, but I do wear a mask when I'm using uh, undo because you're not, you're not supposed to smell it. Oh, and Jen B also says an alcohol uh, yes, I the alcohol, I will do that too to clean my glass blocks. I give it that good spritz and I, I scrape it with my little nubby cloth and uh, yeah, it works pretty well. All right, so here, oh, Kelly, thank you so much. It's so nice of you. All right, I guess we'll start here and I'm going to get my head a little bit in the way. Where's my zero? I guess I'll go with one at the top. It doesn't, I think this is fine. Yeah, okay. Now this is not too hard to line up. However, you know I could, I could get real fancy. Hold on here. I'm just gonna see how I do, okay? All right. Here, um, I don't see the message, but I'm gonna glance. So I'm gonna pick, oh, you know what? We gotta do it again. If this isn't sticking, um, it's not gonna work. So I gotta make sure that this sticks. My mat could use a little, uh, a little washing. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I make it. Uh, and now we're coming back in like that. I got to pick it up a little more gently. Okay, there we go. Pick it up. There we go. All right. Now, one thing that I can do here uh, if I want to is I can see did I get it lined up well and just stamp it on this little piece of acetate. So let's try that. Okay, coming in. Coming in, we'll just do a light one, tap, and I'm gonna look. You know what? That looks pretty darn good. Um, I think that's good enough. It does not have to be the perfect. Let's see, will that keep it? See there? You can just go like that. All right. I, I need to do this more often, but I lost it for a while, and then I just realized I wasn't looking for the uh, <laughs> thing right there. Okay. All right. So we're gonna tap, 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 tap. And I'm just gonna do light taps on here. I don't wanna smush the letters, um, but I want them to be inky. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. And one more time. So this is our little dial. And again, um, I'm not sure. Yep, yeah, this is Joanne Colombo called it. It's the Gina K method where you just lightly tap then you get a really nice inky look and it's good to go. All right, I'm gonna clean this off like that. Yes, it's a little acetate sheet sheet. That's what I like to think of. But a lot of people do that and you know, you can even take just the little piece of acetate that comes with your uh, stamp set. You can do it that way too. Now we're gonna take this off, set this up there. Now it's time to come in uh, and post this right here and I am gonna stick it and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a few more little guys, okay? Now I can see the outlines probably better than you can so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just place every other one. I think there are 10 openings and now I Got to get into an angle where I can actually see it. I'm going to do these guys in black. Okay, sorry for that head of mine. My my hair is very clean, so very excited. Well, I mean, I don't know if it looks clean, but I'm going to just do all the greetings, okay? And I'm going to try to get them nicely in each one. As you're, oh, I don't need to say I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do, I miss you. All right, uh, Darlene Renshaw wants to know what, Im oh, I just blew that, what is the towel that I'm using? Make sure this is upside down. 
it is uh, a, or a stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn. I've just had that for a really long time and I just, I just use them, so. Uh, all right, let's see. We're gonna do. Uh, I heard the big news. Or let's do. Let's do happy birthday. Let's pretend like this is a happy birthday card. Okay, and we're gonna go skip one. This again. Make sure if you're doing it like I'm doing it, you want to make sure they're all uh, that they read going around that way. So this right now looks upside down to my eye, and then I'm gonna add one more in here I love you and then the other openings we're gonna make really cute with other cute things so I'm gonna press this down I hope it doesn't move pick these guys up there we go all right press them down and we're gonna we're gonna stamp them all at once all right so take my little cube work my way around and get these all down at once. Now, you could do these in any color you like. I just thought black would be easy. And again, that very simple Gina K method of just drop and go so that you don't squish it all. Okay. All right. And let's go one more time. See how nicely those look though? They're just they're just kind of fun. But I will tell you, so I when I show you the other cards that I made, I <laughs> will show you the mistake I made. And um, it's just something to keep in mind. And I'll, and I'll tell you as we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, thank you for the compliment of the nails. I, uh, you know, I did this Manny last, last week. And uh, I, was, I was really happy to have it done because uh, I didn't know my best friend was gonna show up and uh, she showed up the day that I did my Manny and I'm like, well, at least my nails look good. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see. I uh, love you and putting these all back on and let's go happy birthday. Yes, I do put everything back on because that is me. I'm a, well, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little over the top with, uh, with my organization. Okay, so now it's time to add into the other little friends. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, I gotta tilt a little so I can see. I gotta get some shadow. There's so much good light in here, sometimes I don't see it. I'm gonna take the heart. I'm Because I did put a birthday greeting on, I'm gonna put uh, this, well, you know what I shouldn't do? I should put it here. Again, upside down inside that little space. And you can see it when you are in here. I got this little uh, horn of joy. I don't know what it's called. It's like a little doo doo doo. Okay, so those guys are going here. Now, what we're gonna do, we'll just do these few at once. Let's start with Sweet Pea, okay? Ink you up. Actually, I kinda just wanna do one at a time, but if I do, that's probably not a good idea because I could conceivably pull everything up, but we're gonna go Sweet Pea. That looks good. I'm gonna do Carnation. Mm. Come here now. Oh, it's still taped together. <laughs> okay, let's put you somewhere else. All right, there we go. Carnation is gonna come in here. Okay. And that one, right? We're just creating our little scenes so that when you turn it, horn of joy. I don't know, you know, like a little <laughs> what, is, what what are those called? I, I okay, and maybe dragon fruit, right? Because uh, that's gonna be oh, that's gonna be juicy. All right, we're just getting it down, a little juicy. The dragon fruit looks. Did I actually do? Well, no, that gets a lot darker, a lot faster. Okay, again. We got this here. This is just a, a stamp chamois in a little salt cellar. And I've been using, I've been using these for years. Well, this not for years, but I mean a while. Okay. A trumpet. Is it a trumpet? A, <laughs> wait, wait, they're not called horns of joy? I thought they were. You know, what are you going to do? Um, I think I will take a star up here like that, okay? 
and maybe I will do what other thing? Well, there's a ring, but no one's no one's putting a ring on it. I think I'll do another horn of joy right here. Okay. And there's a little three heart thing too, but you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the three hearts. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. You could leave some blank too. Um, you don't have to have them all. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do the next horn of joy in uh in oh I still have sticky on here. This must have been from a class I taught. Okay, so um yep, you here? little pebble and I think I'll go with you know what I'm gonna go with the dragon fruit I just think it's so fun and it's so bright and cheery press and let's get back with pebble and dragon fruit so this is our inside this is our inside looking good all right that my friends is how you fill up the interactive wheel, okay? The, <laughs> the horn of joy. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I have a pretty good vocabulary, but it's, ne it's not what it used to be. Uh, horn of joy. You know, it's like a party favor thing, and actually that heart goes up here. Oh, you know what I forgot too? I gotta, well, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. Okay, so this, looks pretty good see that there's that little friend and those are all popped in and of course this is dye ink so it'll dry very very quickly okay now you mr misty go back here like that all right i'm gonna move on now to the next part which is well actually let's bring some of these pieces over okay we got that we've got that we've got my little centerpiece we've got my little cable come here cable <laughs> come here i guess i gotta pick it up hold on oh there we go okay cable so now i think i'm done with cubes so i'm gonna move cubes out and we are gonna add this little friend to this guy all right so let's see here zoom in a little bit and that's gonna be done also with glue so I'm getting the glue out. Oh my gosh, this is just uh, this is just going along. I need a sip. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is some good stuff. Okay. I love having a live stream because it gives me a, an excuse to keep drinking coffee afternoon. Here's oh, don't put. Okay, as you're gluing this on, don't do what I do. You don't need to glue uh, the. I just did that because I was talking. You don't need to glue the little point out part you just need to get your glue on the other parts to hold it together and again I'm trying not to ooze it if I can avoid oozing I do like this little this little glue bottle does help me get teeny 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 tiny little guys right like that and I think it'll be good that's definitely enough to hold it but this is part of the apparatus right so now, what you want to do is you want to line it up, and I'm going to line it up so that the one is right at the top, and then you just kind of wiggle this into place, and it's easy to see because you have those little um, score, no, they're not score lines, but they're little embossed lines to help you do it. And yeah, we got we to gotta avoid the ooze, so you get to come here, okay? We're gonna let you sit. Now, now comes the fun part. So we're gonna add our little stack of four onto this guy here, okay? Here we go, and a little right there. I'm just gonna, and here's the thing, I will not be spinning this today on the live, which is why I also made a few other cards so you can see how it works. Because when they say, and they being, Concord and Ninth, when they say don't, you know, let it let it adhere, they mean it. So you just want to line this up right on, and I'm going to press it and hold like that, okay? Uh, Barb McCarthy says it can also be called root -a toot toot Okay, I like that too. What did I call it? The horn of fun? I don't know. 
All right, we want to make sure we are mostly lined up and we have to be right on that outline for this to work properly. So now, this is where I'm going to take a little of this and I'm just going to powder on top of it, right? Just because if there's any sticky Mickey, I don't know what that's called. If there's any glue, at least now I have allowed it to ooze out a little, all right? And there's that. And I don't have a heavy enough brick here, so here's what I'll do. You go here. I think that's fine. I'm going to set this right here for now and just let the weight of that do its thing, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do, there's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on today. But I think, again, prep is key. Keep it somewhat monochromatic, right? Because if you do, you're, you're going to... You don't have to worry as much. You, you can experiment more, but this little guy goes right in there like that. That's probably the easiest part of this whole assembly. Although I do want to have some kind of a heart thing and I will find one. I have a die set somewhere here and uh, I'm gonna put something else on there. All right, so now let's do, while all this is sitting, let me think what is next. All right, I'm gonna glue this onto here but now okay so here's the little part that you want to remember <laughs> you want to remember when you're putting this in finally and I have I'm not going that yet I'm gonna go a little bit out of order you really want to make sure that you put it in the first little opening that you want to read what I did on one of my other cards is I didn't think it mattered and it actually does so let's add our liquid glue okay just make some nice little I don't want to be too close to the center. I just want to, because again, I don't want any glue in that center part. Okay, but I'll just come out here like that. Okay. And now I am going to line this up right on that circle. And I'm actually going to bring in this guy because I sometimes don't always see the forest for the trees in terms of having it be completely straight. So let me see that. Is that looking pretty straight? I think it's pretty good, actually. Yeah. All right, I'm straight. T-square says, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this down. So our phone, ooh, you know what though? I gotta move it just a little. I saw a little, little misalignment there. That's why we like liquid glue, because it lets you push and pull so that you get enough space in there. Did I do it? Oh boy. I don't want to have to do this again, so I'm going to push it. Oh, there we go. I think. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck, friends. All right. I'm just going to do a little scrape in here to make sure that that cardstock does not get in my way. All right. Now, again, take a little more powder because this powder will come right off, all right? But here's what I want to do, and I got to show you this because I think it's fun. I got to find it first, hold on. Now, part of this apparatus is to turn, but people might not know that when they first get the card, right? I mean, you could say to them inside, hey, hey, go back and look at the front of the card and turn it. But I have this really cute, and I, I forgot to link this, but I will. The MFT, my favorite things, interactive labels. And I found this, I was digging through my stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a turn. So before I get all this assembled, I am going to, wait, which way do I usually go? Now I can't, no, I go this way. I'm a right-hander. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this in here. Okay, I'm gonna stick it down. I'm going to use this to position my stamp and I'm gonna stamp the word turn, right? Cause then, then you're gonna know what to do. I think this is very cute. I, I, uh, yeah, I love this one. So I'm gonna take out my little turn. They're super tiny. Oh, spin, or is there a spin? Oh, there is a spin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Diane. I didn't even see that there was one. Spin, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Didn't even, didn't even think, did not even think. Look at all of you. Um, how, how's it going out there? How are we doing? Hey, we've got a few people watching. 
Thank you for being here. Thank you for tolerating the chat and the randomness that are my live streams. But you know what? I'm having a good time. Spin. Look at that. I would not have known that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the spin right there. Because then, just in case you don't know, you'll know. Do you know what I mean? Do you like that placement? I think it's cute. And it's right by, yeah, let's see. I'm going to hold you here. Get you into place. Spin. I want it to be somewhat straight like that. I think that's cute. Now, I may bring in my little, uh, this guy, because I actually think I'm going to do this in, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Barb. My friend Barb will tolerate me every week. Barb, I didn't pay her to say that, but you know, very kind of you. I think what I'm going to do is do the sweet pea on the sweet pea. No, the carnation. Because I think this will show up nicely, but let's just see how this positioning looks. Oh yeah, right? Because then that, oh, mm, then that's there and that's gonna be right there. I think that's perfect. So I'll take you out. Okay, there we go, all right. Well, and, and I know I saw something about are the numbers not in the right place? I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, you have to, you have to hope that it's been so long since people have seen a rotary phone, they're not going to have a clue. They're going to be like, oh yeah, I guess that's how it was. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Susan Rosine, thank you. I am glad you're having fun. Thank you, by the way, for that suggestion. Also, there's little arrows. You know, I could put more on there, but I just wanted to have at least a little, one of these little interactives. Um, I bought this set when I tried out uh, light up cards for the first time. I still have plans to do more. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so is it, yeah, they're definitely, and they're set up in such a way that you have to do the one at the top. So, all right, that right there is going to be fantastic. So, the next thing that I want to do is get some foam tape. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I want my card to be popped up, but first, I guess, um, all right, I'm going to put my phone down. I'm going to put my little guy here. And let's just say, I like this, the, the idea that the phone is up quite a bit. You know, it's at an angle, like someone's going, eh. So let's take, and I, there are two curly Q dies, but I actually prefer this one. I just think it's super cute. And what I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I'm going to add my liquid glue. So you can kind of see how if I had spent all the time die cutting, uh, you would have been like, Kathy, we do not have that kind of time. And I get it. I, you know, I do. I get it. Okay, little glue. Also, a little side note, Frankie's here today. Franklin is my grandkitty. The reason why is I, I convinced my daughter to drop him off because um, he had to go to his annual doctor's appointment today and he got two shots. And I said, you know what, honey, bring him here. Grandma needs to love on Frankie today, and I'll make you dinner. And that, that sealed the deal, so she said, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, Misty said, when the aliens land, this is all going to be in high demand. That's friggin' hilarious. All right, I'm going to pop this. Well, i got to do it with my fingers. I can't. There we go. I want it to be right there. I want it to kind of come out like that, I think. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Uh, <laughs> you know what's funny? I have a landline. I just want you to know I have a landline and yes, it, when the aliens are here, I will at least be able to call people to tell them it's all over now. Oh, speaking of aliens, speaking of aliens and I will, no spoilers, okay? Oh, he, Franklin is fine. He just needed his, uh, he just had to go for his annual visit, uh, his annual doctor's appointment. His weight is good. He's got a beautiful coat. He's not too chubby if he stays where he's at for the rest of his life. So he's doing great. Um, but the alien comment I wanted to tell you all, I would love to show Franklin, but he doesn't come up here. He just, he sleeps right outside. Well, not today. Down, He's downstairs right now. He's just super tired from his appointment. Um, but aliens, I'm setting this here for now. If you have not watched Resident Alien, 
It is my new favorite show on television. It, um, I, and if it weren't for Netflix, I don't think I would have ever known to watch it. Okay, that part is done. Resident Alien is the most adorable show. I don't know what it is. It's got great acting. It's got heart. It's, oh, I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, now I am going to put on some foam tape, but I am not putting that on yet. I want to, yeah, resident Alan Tudyk is a national treasure, okay? He is absolutely fantastic. I only knew him from uh, the pirate guy in a, oh, this is going to be good. He played the pirate in Dodgeball. That's all I knew him from. But uh, it's it's a delightful show. It is delightful. Okay, so here's this guy. I'm not gluing it yet, um, but what I'm gonna do, see how that fits right in like that? I'm gonna flip this over right now so I can place my foam tape because I want to have some clearance. Clarence, um, thank you for all the airplane fans. I wanna have some clearance and I'm gonna cut this. I just want this to be a little straighter, okay? And so we're gonna pop this up onto our card base, but also this will give a little uh, of this. Oh, I just saw um, Jamie said she met Alan Tudyk. It's it's like the role of his life, I think, the role of his lifetime. I know he was in Firefly too. I never watched Firefly. I, I didn't watch all of it. I might have to go back, but Resident Alien, I just think it has a little bit of magic and I it's because it is literally laugh out loud funny when I um okay, let's do that I started watching it I couldn't believe that I was laughing out loud late at night and so I decided so here I'm going right on the edge uh I decided to re-watch it with my hubby because I thought he would like it it's made him laugh out loud it's made him cry it's a good show a lot of heart um yeah I just love it okay so highly recommend I'm on season two with the hubby and it's just, oh my gosh, the kid actors too. I know those of you who watch it, they're so great in this and you know how kid actors can make or break a show. I think these kid actors make the show. They're so wonderful. Okay. See how I'm just kind of given a little frame out here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're just, uh, oh my gosh, come here now. I don't know if this one's gonna come off. I think that's stuck. We're just building it up so we can have some fun. Uh, and that's what we're all about here. Thank you for being here today, by the way. Thank you for watching my channel. I wanna say thank you for everyone who uh, subscribes because you helped me to get to 80,000 and boy, that's a number I did not expect to see for a long time. And uh, so thank you for that. Okay, so see how we have this. Now we have our foam. So what we're gonna do, okay, is we are going to press this down. And you can see how this pops up, right? Okay, and I'm still gonna, again, I'm gonna take a little glue or powder and we are going to glue this on. And once we glue this on, we're not gonna move it. So actually I should do this first. Then we're gonna make our card base and then we're gonna just chill out for a while, okay? Then I'm gonna make my greeting and it's gonna be, well, it's gonna be fun, <laughs> I hope. So these are thin foam squares, which I th thought would be very nice to have with this card. So this pops up just a little bit over Oh, my thing, okay. Uh, oh, don't forget to do the, yeah, like, subscribe, and share. I never, I never remind people. Well, I do. So on my regular videos, they are more structured. They have an end screen where we say, you know, thanks so much for watching, and please become a subscriber, and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm just going to pop this right there. I do want this to be up a little, like you're picking it up. You know what I mean? I didn't really want it. I've done a couple different ones and I'll show you how they look different, but I feel like that is the way I want it to be. So here's the here's a little trick. You want to make sure that your spinner shows the word that you want to start with, okay? Because if you don't, you you you, you can't really you can't really change it. I mean, cuz cuz it's all based on where you put this. Now, 
this little guys here, those little marks are showing you where this should go. But again, we're gonna glue in the center. And I will tell you a little thing. So I was playing around with one and I thought that it would be great to use, um, what is it called? Like score tape, like terrific tape, the really heavy stuff. Um, and uh, it, it was not good, it's glue. You want glue, but you want it to get a little tacky and you don't want it to, uh, what do you, you don't want it to ooze. Um, I just saw someone ask Miranda, did I ever see Moonlight, a CBS show about a vampire? No, I've never even heard of that. And you know, I, uh, okay, we're, plop, we're plopping this right on top. Okay, making sure it's lined up top and bottom. Let's come up just a little bit like that and press and hold. I have not seen that show and now I'm curious because let's go over here a little bit. That looks pretty centered to me. Maybe it needs to come over a tiny bit more and hold it. And now my little leapskins. Oh, thank you, Susan. We're going to put this on. It's kind of hard to balance it and we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna leave it alone. Thank you so much, Susan. Very kind of you. Slide you up. All right, let's make a greeting. Have not seen that vampire show. Love vampires, just love them. Wanted to be one. <laughs> and not just for the age thing, you know? I just, you know, the human blood thing I could take or leave, but to be sparkly like Edward, come on. All right, I have saved this little piece here. And this is my little piece of dragon fruit. I'm going to stamp on here and we're going to emboss. I know, I actually, when I saw Moonlighting, uh, Roberta posted, I've seen, that's what I thought of. I thought, oh yeah, I loved that show when I was a kid. <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. We are going to stamp our greeting on more of the dragon fruit. All right, so let's come out just a little bit here. All righty. And we're closing in on one o'clock. I mean, even with, um, oh, let me get the thing out. I'm going to get the just calling to say. Now, you could use this stamp and die set for all kinds of, you know, uh, different things. It doesn't have to be interactive. And again, I will, I will update the links. Anything that I mentioned will be updated after the live stream. As soon as I'm done, I'll turn this way to my other computer add the links um, and thanks to Beth and Emma who helped keep me on track because I mentioned a lot of things and if it weren't for them, most of them would just whoosh, go right over. So, all right, we have Brutus Monroe, Alabaster and Versamark. So we're just gonna do um, Sticky Mickey, I <laughs> Horn of Joy. I, I should start a little notepad of all the things, you know? Cause you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna drop and let that go. I don't want this to squish. I want it to be just the right amount of Versamark. Oh, thanks, Emma. I appreciate that. Uh, get, here we go. <laughs> Charlene says, glad I didn't file my teeth. Well, you know, I'm not that into vampire cosplay. Let's put it that way. I've, I've, uh, I used to dress up as one for Halloween every year when I was a kid, and then I traded it in for a bee costume, and we all know how that went. Okay, let's get powder. Okay, got my little folded piece of paper. I just want you to know, in my studio, I keep my folded piece of paper on the floor, and I roll over it with my chair, and that's why it looks like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna add the powder and hopefully it will fall off beautifully. This dragon fruit though, I'm telling you, it is a it is a good color. All right. Yeah, that's going to be good. All right. Let's let it sit for a minute. And tap and we'll put it back in. Now, even what I'm doing here on this card, it's not enough time, okay? It needs to sit for longer than I'm going to let it sit today but I think we can at least get through. And, and this is the card I'm gonna give away today. So also, uh, if you like this card and you would like to have me send it to you, I have a blog post that's already set up today and I'm gonna bring in my little angled shader here. Just brush some of this away. Uh, and you can leave a comment and I will choose a winner. Last week we had 
two cards and for, uh, I haven't sent out the card from last week because when my bestie showed up, I, I literally forgot everything that I was planning to do on Friday and uh, went into a crazed cleaning mode because I had to give her a clean bed to sleep in. Anyway, um, but I will be sending that card out and, as, and I will be drawing a winner for this card tomorrow. Unless I screw it up at the very 11th hour and then I won't. All right, I've got my Wagner heat tool. Let's warm it up. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's weird. What the heck was that? There's like a weird, weird something came off. What that? Oh my goodness. I might have to do it again. I don't love that. Um, something glittery just popped in there. I have no, like a piece of metal. Let's see if we can. All right, people, we got to get the drill. All right, here we go. Getting the, getting the paper drill. Uh, let's see if I can make that work. It's like a piece of something fell on here. Weird. Yeah, it came off just fine. Um, I actually dropped my uh, heat tool the other day, accidentally. I keep trying to break things. And uh, that must have been it. Huh. Yeah, it's still pretty good. All right. That was weird. Uh, something, yeah, it got glitter bombed accidentally. All right. So we're going to cut this out with my uh, sentiment label dies, my uh, little favorite things, all right? And uh, it was just like a piece of, it looked like glitter. And that must have been what it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this little friend. See, here's the thing with the magnetic mat and the impress. Why would they include, a, why would the magnetic mat not be designed for doing it this way? It's so nice to be able to hold something in place and again, if, uh, if Jennifer McGuire says it's okay, <laughs> if Jennifer McGuire told me to walk off the end of my bridge, no, I, you know me. Um, yes, Janet, I will add the link. It is called a creative detailer from Couture Creations. It's basically a, an eraser, a, an electric eraser. Um, they used to sell them at Simon Says Stamp, but then they stopped. Um, but they do have them on Amazon. Alrighty, there she comes. There she coming around the mountain. All right. So this will be our greenie. <laughs> the magnet sticks to everything. Uh, sometimes is it gonna work there? Yeah, it does. All right, okay. So this little friend looks lovely. And I thought it would be a nice way to balance out with the colors on the card. So let's get you out of the way. And let's trim our greeting. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate it. Um, one thing that I, I, I do love, uh, I love about this whole process. Uh, oh, gosh, please don't stick to that. I'm still, I'm still keeping it and we're not moving it. There you go. Um, I love to share this process. Uh, someone who, was it, I don't know, Barb, was it you? My friend Barb Wong, someone went back and watched my first video, or someone did, and they left a message and said, you, you've been sharing the process since you started. And I, I have. I started, I was so in love with card making and all the things, and I, I had worked in scrapbooking for a really long time, and... Um, I just wanted, and, and then I saw Jennifer McGuire made really cool videos, and I had done a lot of scrapbooking online videos, and I thought, I want to do this. <laughs> so that that's that's what we do. So there's our little greeting. I think I could come in. I want the space from side to side to be almost exact as the space on top and bottom. And this little trimmer, uh, it does help. I, I, I never cut anything by hand anymore. I just don't like to. So there we go. And there we have that. Now, 
this also needs to have uh, a little bit of dim dimension. So we'll just take our thin foam squares and put four, I guess. Four will be good. I'm not gonna mount this on yet though. I'm not gonna adhere until we get our, oh, come here. Don't be crazy. There we go, good enough. Okay, there's our dimension. So let's get our note card prepped, all right? And I do have, oh good, I did find that, okay. I have a piece of white card stock. You guys go here, let's get some of these things out of the way. It's, it's kinda, kinda getting a little busy in here. It's getting a little busy, all right. And we're gonna score this at five and a half. So this will be a top folding US A2 card, you know me, I tend to uh, tend to stick to the US A2. And uh, that's, that's just because, you know, it's an easy size. In other words, four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, I did just have an idea to get some glitter cardstock out because I have an idea for the little heart, but I gotta get that cardstock. So we're just giving that a good press, but I always tape down because, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna pop up, it's a little crazy. Oh, and thank you, Kay, I appreciate that. I, I'm gonna pop you up, because here's the thing. I love making YouTube videos, but if I didn't find a way to make my living doing this, I wouldn't probably do as many videos. And so when you watch my channel, you help support me directly. When you uh, share my video, you help support me directly. And if you purchase with my links, that goes to a small percentage of your, of that sale goes directly to me. And that's how content creators make money. And we're pretty lucky. <laughs> okay, I am not gonna spin this today. Can't happen because we gotta let it dry. But if you see here on the back, you are free and clear, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the backers off of all this, okay? Oh, I just heard my stomach growl. I, uh. I'm hungry. <laughs> Did I mention what I what I bribed my daughter with besides saying bring your cat? I also told her uh, I would make white chicken chili. Easiest recipe. I should I should link to it. Um, there's a great website called Give Me Some Oven instead of Give Me Some Lovin'. I love her recipes. I've done a lot of them. I've tried a lot of them. But one of her favorites is called the Five Ingredient White Chicken Chili. It is so easy. And if you're in the upper Midwest where it's about to be a blizzard this weekend, or I don't know if that's true, um, it, it's a great recipe. I'll, I'll link it up and share it. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, this is spinning freely right now. Wow, um, I'm kind of shocked that it's going so well. But again, again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about it right now. So uh, I prefer, I saw the question from Amy, do I prefer top, fold rather than side fold? I think yes. And I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, by the way, I'm putting a little liquid glue on this because I don't, I want to have a little wiggle room with this foam tape. So we'll just put a few drops here and there. I think it's because of the, gosh, I don't know, maybe because greeting cards in my lifetime always seemed to be side folding. Like if you go to a store, it seems like it's a side fold, right? Um, but uh, the top fold just feels different somehow. And yes, I will, I'll link that recipe uh, because it's so easy and it literally is mindless. And if you have a target near you and you can pick up the uh, shredded rotisserie chicken that's already shredded for you, even easier. It's so easy. Okay, I'm gonna stand up here. I am going to place this down and I just wanted to have that little margin Oh my gosh, I'm kind of sad that I'm gonna give this one away. This is the cutest of all that I've made. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. That, my friends, that is what I wanted to do. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Now, we are gonna put this underneath. See, I just felt that was a nice way to anchor the design with the dark color, right? And, and we're not gonna boop anything on here. Oh, Jennifer, I was mentioning you earlier. Oh, honey bunny. I was thinking about you and hoping you're on the mend, but man, 
it sucks to be sick and just to have a lot of things going on. So love you, my friend. Glad you're here. Um, and isn't this cute? I should send this to you. <laughs> Jennifer's one of the, <laughs> I've sent her a few cards. I'm not going to lie. I've sent her a few cards. She's a, you know, she, because I know Jennifer will appreciate them. But so will my besties, you know, they, they're, they're all good people. And see, some people do prefer side fold, you know, with cards. You know what I do sometimes, um, and I've done, like when I'm teaching classes, I've done side fold cards. It depends on how much card stock I have too. Sometimes you may only have uh, enough to do that side fold. And I think they're great too. I mean, and, and honestly, I'll probably go through a phase where I do nothing but side fold. No reason not to. Um, okay, so I'm going to place this right underneath center. Okay, and before I really commit, again, bringing in that ruler, come on, get onto the edge and go like that because I want to make sure it's straight. But I think that's pretty straight and I think the side's good. And that, my friends, is my finished card project for today. Took some time. I've got a few more things to share with you today. But I, I mean, I'm not going to be moving this yet because you really want this element to dry. Let me show you how it's going to be. Um, the, the cord is as connected to the nub as possible. You know what I mean? I just kind of figured visually it's about the same. You'll see. Because let me show you a couple cards. Okay. Okay. So this is the first one that I did. I'm not going to be giving the ones that I messed up away. This is going to be the giveaway card. Okay, just so you know. Um, but when everything, and I did a full band here. This is, again, this is all Concord and Ninth cardstock. But once it's secure, that sucker goes. I mean, look at that. Look at how easily that spins, right? Isn't that cute? Spins really, really well. But again, I did stamp turn because I didn't realize there was a spin. And on the other one that I did, I didn't do any of that. But what happened was when this is in the number one position, um, it just has that. It has the horn of joy. It has the horn of joy. And yeah, it probably should have connected there. But here, look at that one. I just did that one just going boom, right in. Same thing here. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was doing. I think this is a fun color palette. This one, I decided to just do like this. Now, I don't know. Oh, no, this one works too. Okay. So here's the thing. As long as you, as long as you let it dry, here I only have three layers, but it, it's going to work. All right. And again, now, now it feels a little stuck. Why are you sticking? There we go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. That one doesn't want to work as well. And that, they don't know why. There we go. Coming around the mountain when she comes. So those are three really simple cards. But again, Horn of Joy. Um, these little guys made some mistakes. This little guy, he's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that is my finished card project for today. This is the one I'm going to give away. It's going to be fun. Okay, so on, um, I will add the link to my blog. I, I think Emma uh, and Beth may have already posted it, but I'll add the link or you can just go over to uh, my website, kathyzilski.com, go to my blog, it's right at the top. Leave a comment, I'll choose a winner tomorrow. But now, before I go, still got a few of you here? Got a few, yep, yeah. and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, only one thumbs down. Gotta love that. Okay, um, it is time before I go for Shameless plugs. Shameless plugs. I've got some shameless plugs. Okay. Uh, for shameless plugs, I two things that I shared on last week's live stream. Two things. Number one, create your own ending event with Christopher Allen, the founder and owner and creative force behind uh, Bruce Monroe. Me, my friend Jennifer. Uh, Christina and Laura, we are going to be bringing it and we're going to have some fun this summer. So that is available for registration now. And you have one more day to sign up for Crop and Create Delivered Card Making, if I have my dates correct, right? Today is the 20th, I believe. Um, and I am teaching for Concord and Night. That's sort of been a tradition that I have taught. And uh, I hope you can be here because um, registration closes. It's a good time. 
Jennifer will be there as well. It's it's just a good time we'll have will be had by all. Can't really back that up like with the trademark, but trust me. Audra Aldridge, thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Um, I appreciate the super chat. Thanks so much. And thank you for being here today. I will be updating links for you. And I will also be giving away that card. I appreciate you so much for being here. So uh, stay, oh my gosh, shameless plug. Speaking of, I have a new release coming out tomorrow. I forgot about that. There's there's, there's always things. New CZ Design Products. In fact, I will be sending an email out at 11 p.m. Central tonight, midnight Eastern, sharing the new products with you. And I will have a video premiere tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Central. And then there is a blog hop Friday. And then I have, I have another something old, something new, something borrowed, something blank coming this weekend. So busy times, new products. Thank you so much. Again, I hope you can take it, even if you have no interest in these products, hope you can take in inspiration from all the videos I share. No one expects anyone to go out and buy everything. We love to create and share, and I'm grateful that you are here. All right, thanks so much, and I will see you all back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today for my live stream. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in checking out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.